we've got a double integral, x plus 4y square root of that quantity, which I wrote as x plus 4y to the 1 half power. Over here in red, I'm evaluating the inter def inner definite integral. And I decided to use u substitution to make it clear what's going on. If u equals x plus 4y, du equals dx, so I don't have to modify this dx at all. And I change the limits of integration at the same time. When x is 3, u is 3 plus 4y. When x is 5, right here, u is 5 plus 4y. So this is the definite integral that I'm evaluating. x plus 4y is replaced with a u. The antiderivative of u to the 1 half is 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, evaluated at these limits. And that gives us this ugly looking expression here. And so I take that back over to here and I replace that inner integral with this mess. And what I did was uh, um, I factored out this two thirds and then I separated these two terms into two definite integrals, both from zero to nine, five plus four y to the three halves dy and 3 plus 4y to the 3 halves. And I used substitution to change the limits of integration. Uh, in the first integral, I let u equal 5 plus 4y. When y equals 0, u equals 5. And when y equals 9, u equals 41. So that'll change these limits here. But du is 4 dy, so I had to put a 4 in front of the dy and a 1 fourth out front. Similarly, for the second integral, I let w equal 3 plus 4y. dw is 4 dy, so again, I had to put a 4 and a negative 1 fourth, change the limits of integration, and here's what happened. Uh, there's the substitution. Um, got the two thirds here. I brought the one fourth, or I still have that one fourth out. There's the new limits from five to 41, u to the three halves. Here's the antiderivative, uh, two fifths u to the five halves. And I brought the one fourth out front there. There's a one fourth in front of both of these integrals. So I can bring that one fourth out front. And there's what you get if you evaluate each of these. Two fifths of 41 to the five halves minus five to the five halves. And here's the same thing with the limits of 339. And here's sort of proof in the upper right-hand corner that this ugly looking expression, which you could simplify, does indeed result in the value returned by the Desmos online graphing calculator. So hope that helps. There's probably other ways to do this, but this one should give you the idea. Hope that helps.